There are a lot of words in English that look or sound alike but have very different meanings. It's so easy to get them confused. If you've been learning English for even a short amount of time, you've probably noticed that. These words are called homophones. They are words that sound the same or almost sound the same but are different in meaning or spelling. Homophone derives from the Greek homo, which means same, and phone, which means voice. When writing, however, you must be sure to use the word with the meaning you intended so you won't confuse your reader. Are you uncertain which one is right? Welcome to the first part of commonly confused words in English that you'll definitely want to know. Advice and advice are pronounced differently and are different parts of speech. Advice is a noun. It means an opinion offered as a guide, while advice is the action of offering an opinion as a guide. Examples. My advice is to study before tests. I advise you to study before tests. These words are pronounced the same, but you see the difference when they're written. Compliment means a thing that completes or brings to perfection, while compliment is praise. Examples. That dress complements your complexion. Oh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Quiet is an adjective used to describe something or someone that makes very little noise. Quiet is an adverb used to describe when something is a little or a lot, but not completely. A good way to remember the difference is to focus on the pronunciation. Examples. During the exam, the classroom was very quiet. The situation was quite different yesterday. Many people find these words particularly confusing. To get into the difference between the two, listen up. This is pronounced whose. This is a contraction linking the words who is or who has. This is pronounced whose. It means the possessive form of who and sometimes which. Examples. Who's hungry? Whose bag is that? A lot of people mix up these two words. Don't be that person. This shows that something belongs to you or is related to you. This is a contraction of the words you and are. Example, you are my best friend because I like your personality. The easiest way to check if you're using the correct word is to replace the you apostrophe re with the words you and are. If your sentence still makes sense, you're using the correct word. These words sound identical and are oftentimes confused. While they might sound the same, they actually have separate meanings. Already, as a single word, functions as an adverb and is defined as by now or a specific time, while the two-word phrase all ready means that everything or everyone is now ready. Examples I can't believe it's the weekend already. Are you all ready for Christmas? Just like the previous words, these terms are not freely interchangeable and each should be reserved for the context in which it best fits. The single word altogether is used as an adverb. It means that something is complete. It can be used in place of the words wholly, totally, or all in all. The two-word phrase means in the same place or at the same time as a complete group. It is never used as a phrasal adverb. Examples. Altogether, I would say it was a good day. The last time we were all together was last year. These words are often confused. Say them fast or even slow, no one will know which one you mean. The word that starts with an E is a verb, which means to succeed in getting information, especially when this is difficult. The word that starts with an I is an adjective describing something that is illegal or not permitted. Examples. The test uses pictures to elicit words from a child. Vote buying is definitely illicit and should not be tolerated. Let's identify the difference between these two words in terms of use and meaning so you should be able to use them properly. The first word, pronounced envelop, is a verb. To envelop is to surround something completely. The second word, pronounced envelope, is a noun. It means a flat, usually square or rectangular, paper or plastic container for a letter. Examples. At sunset, darkness enveloped the town. I opened the envelope, pulled out the document, and read it. 
There are two of the most confused words in English. If you're struggling with choosing between the two words, you're not alone. The single word every day is an adjective. You use it to describe something that is normal and not exciting or unusual in any way. The two word phrase every day is an adverbial phrase. It refers to something that happens daily. Examples Smartphones are a part of everyday life for most people. He wakes up at 7 o'clock in the morning every day. I hope this helps you with your learning goals. Stay tuned for more videos. Please let me know what you think of this video and leave a comment what English topic I should discuss next. Hit subscribe, like, and share so that it gets recommended to more people. Get motivated, stay motivated.